what's going on you guys welcome back to another video so in this video i want to talk about three reasons why narcissists use threats they use threats out of revenge they use threats for punishment and they use threats as a way to control you and the reason why all three of those things work good together for the narcissist is because you give them a reaction and i know a lot of people look at it like you know, well, they're threatening me. And so, like, you know, that's just like a normal human response to something like that. When a person is backed into the corner, of course, you're going to you're going to react in a way to where you got to do whatever you can to get yourself out of the situation. And a lot of times we give the narcissist just what they want. And that is a response. Now, there's nothing wrong with responding to the narc, but it's the way we respond to the narcissist. You know, it's right up their alley for them to see us squirm and beg and plead, you know, for them to, to give us, you know, mercy, you know. And so that's just like something that they do to kind of keep control of a situation. You know, a narcissist who can't handle someone's, you know, a rejection. The next thing they do is threaten that they're going to put out some false rumors about them. A narcissist who um, who lost good supply, you know, they will threaten to, to do something that will harm them or, you know, try to threaten their job or something like that, like put their livelihood, you know, in a very critical position. So that's the hand that the narcissists deal with. They don't they don't play fair when it comes to losing the game. You know, because this is all a game to the narcissist. They get angry and they try to find a way to get revenge on you, even when you won that game fair and square. I remember back when um, my ex, my children's dad and everything, when back when he used to threaten me a lot, when I start to, you know, live life and enjoy life again and just have fun and just do me, you know, and not have to deal with him anymore. Like it was completely over. When I start to have fun again. It was like he used to just call me out of the blue. And say you know I think it's better if the kids. Just come and stay with me for good. You know we don't have to deal with the court or anything like that. He just wanted to get a reaction. I mean he wanted to punish me. Because I would start to have fun again and live life. And you know enjoy myself. And he didn't like that. Because narcissists are very miserable people. You know, they can't deal with their own thoughts. And so it's like they have to come up with something that's going to, you know, just interrupt their negative thought process. So they come up with more negativity to try to make other people's lives miserable. And that's what he was trying to do. He threatened me with taking my kids away from me because he wanted me to feel guilty because I wanted to enjoy myself every now and then you know so he felt like if I would go out to the club every now and then you know that maybe I didn't need to have kids I was an unfit mother and I'm like all the things that you have done to me in the past and all the things you have done period you know just bad things period things that just about everything about your character that just didn't sit right with me it's like you have the nerve to throw in my face that I'm an unfit mother and because I want to go out and have fun, you think the kids should stay with you, you know, like have full custody. And no, I wasn't going to let that happen. And at the time, I didn't know that I was dealing with the narc ex. And so what I did was give him the response he wanted. You know, I just went off. I almost went off the road because it's like, those are my children. Do not threat me about my kids. And it's like, all he wanted to do is get a reaction out of me, you know, and just have me in a place of, you know, unsettled thoughts to where now I'm worrying, am I going to have my kids? Because now he's thinking about taking them away. He just wanted to put that on my mind so that that'll be the only thing I'm thinking about now and that I can he wanted to take me from the moment of just having fun. You know, that's what they do. They hate to see other people happy, you know, and it doesn't matter how much the narcissists have, how much you give them, they will never be happy. Even if I would have been like, okay, 
which was one of the response I gave them later on down the line because it, the threats got old. I was like, okay, take them. I'll go home and I'll pack the clothes and this, that, and let them know, you know. And I know he wasn't going to, you know, give me the response like, okay, I'll be ready for them. You don't have to bring them. I'll come get them. It was like it was no response. I'm calling the phone. I'm on my way. I'm letting you know that I'm on my way. No response. Because it was all bluff. He just wanted to get a response out of me. And a lot of y'all probably had to deal with that with your ex, you know, with your kid's dad or whatever. It's just like, or even the kid's mother, you probably had to deal with it. They don't want those kids. They just want to get a reaction out of you. Even if they take the children, they're still trying to get a reaction out of you by bothering you. You know, if they see that you are happy, you know, they don't like to see you living life in peace without dealing with their toxic energy every day. So it's like they're constantly bothering you about something. You know, they are never content with the situation and never at peace. And they hate to see you at peace, you know. So that's the response that they want out of you. Also, it's a control tactic. It's a punishment tactic. It's out of revenge because they lost you. So that's why the narcissist, you know, that's why they use threats. Another thing that, you know, they would do is to threaten to put someone on you. Like they would threaten you with the courts, with lawyers and stuff like that. They love to call their guard dogs to get after you. And it's like if you're just if you're this big, bad bully, why do you need backup? Why do you need protection against little old me? He did that a lot. You know, and a friend of mine back then, they were like, don't let him get under your skin. He know that you are a great mother. Those children are not going to let him rest knowing that he's just trying to take them away from you. You know, those children are going to pick up on it and they're not going to just be settled with moving from your house to his full time. So they were like, don't let him get to you like that. You know, he's just talking a lot of mess. Men do that kind of stupid mess just to get under your skin, you know. And so I followed her advice back then. That was before I knew that he was a narc, you know. And so she was right about it because he wouldn't answer the phone or anything. I think I'm about to lose my my camera. I'm about to go out. So I'm going to finish this up real quick. Another way that he tried to get under my skin is to threaten me that his new supply had an issue with me. He just made up some crap, you know, um, they need to speak with you about something because they don't like that. You keep bothering me and it's stressing me out. And I'm like, you are making this up. You creating drama between us and then you take off and run. They hang up in your face. You know, they just leave you hanging to the point where they know the, the issue is unsolved. So they want it to continue. That's another way that they breadcrumb you also, you know, but. Those are some of the reasons why the narcissist use threats, you know, because they just want to see you backed up in a corner. It gives them a high when you give them that type of response to show them that you're intimidated, to show them that you're afraid of them, you know. So don't give them what they want. But I'm going to do a part two of this video because my camera is about to die.